has any experiments uh, been done uh, about measuring the gravity yeah. uh, inside the planet? Well, you know, uh, there have been the measurements. Yes, there have been measurements, but uh, we are o we only are able to go a few thousand meters uh, into the Earth, and this is nearly nothing. So uh, um, the rest we have to calculate and we have to consider. And this is what I want to do. If we want to have zero gravity in the center of the Earth, then inside. Um, the uh, the crust of the Earth, uh, we need uh, to have liquid matter. And we know that the mantle of the Earth is liquid. Okay, this is correct. And inside the mantle, we have the core. The outer core should be gas, and the inner core should be plasma, this is the only way if you want to have zero gravity in the center of the Earth. Is it right? Mm -hmm. And this is a physical consequence. But um, the, what, what did you learn at school, the, the core of the Earth is, exists of? Well, uh, they, they claim that it's an iron it's an iron yeah, core. This is what we have learned, but this is this is wrong. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, you learn not nonsense at school. Uh, it's impossible. <laughs> That's a good yes. point. <laughs> Sorry, we learned the same nonsense in Germany. Uh, in, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you see that it has to be gas and plasma, but the gas is under high pressure. And under high pressure, if you have, let me say, hydrogen. Hydrogen uh, consists of a proton and an electron. An electron in the shell of the atom and uh, the proton in the core. And if you, if you have a hydrogen uh, atom under high pressure, then it collapses into a neutron. This is a model. It's my approach. It's my opinion uh, that it is collapsing into a neutron, and the neutron is not stable, but it is very small. That means there is no pressure anymore, and it's very heavy, so the weight is high. And, well, these this neutron is not stable because we know that it is decaying, which is the better decay, uh, under the influence of neutrinos. That means the neutrino is carrying the difference of energy to the neutron, and the neutron decays at the end. So now we have two answers. We have the answer where the neutrino flux is interacting, where it is used, and how it, it is materialized. Uh, and the other answer is that we have a balance inside the core of the Earth, a balance of very heavy uh, neutrons and very light um, gas. And in the average, uh, the weight is the weight of iron, which we are able to measure from outside. But it mm -hmm. is not iron. It is only the average of the, of, of the weight, you see. Mm -hmm. And um, so this is a model. And this model explains, well, I, I can't have a look inside the Earth, and I can't prove whether this model is right or not. Uh, but you need a consistent model, and this is important. And um, well, and I think in a few years they will find out that that uh, such a model has to be true because I don't know another one. But in in science, we, we are free. You are free as well to to design your own model. If it is better, I listen mm -hmm. to it. I'm. Well, you know, doctor. You know, I thought of um, you know if if we're to measure you know, uh, some sort of a gravity change, you know, to prove out yep. the theory that, well, okay, the gravity is zero at the center of the Earth, that maybe, yeah. you know, have a mission to an asteroid, okay, and, and do the experiment on, on a smaller body mm -hmm. might be a possible answer, you know, that could answer that question. Yes, well, um, 
I think a lot of things are well understood uh, today. Uh, and um, uh, my opinion is uh, that all bodies in space, the sun as well, and the earth, and the um, other planets, and so on, they are all growing. Well, uh, the neutrino flux is the energy. The, um, the biggest sources of neutrino are the black holes. The black holes inside a galaxy, in the center of a galaxy, what they are doing is that they accelerate uh, matter um, uh, into speeds higher than the speed of light. And mm -hmm. if, if the speed is higher than the speed of light, only under these conditions, matter has the chance to leave a black hole. Because the black hole is black, because everything, all matter, all light, which propagates with the speed of light or less, is not able to leave the black hole. That's why the mm -hmm. black hole is black. And um, uh, that means the neutrino flux, which is, well, the neutrinos, uh, the biggest source is, is the, these black hole, um, is coming from them. And this is, well, the rest of the, um, the stars that had been um, eaten by uh, such a black hole. And uh, this matter is then spread off into space <coughs> and is collected by other stars and by our sun. And um, because these uh, neutrino uh, radiation is much quicker than the speed of light, they have to be slowed down. And the, uh, these big bodies like the sun are able to slow these neutrino flux down. Part of the neutrino flux is materialized and lets the sun uh, grow. That's why the sun is getting a big ball um, at the end. And um, uh, that means the sun is uh, growing as well. And uh, this uh, radiation, uh, part of, the, of this radiation lets the sun shine. Uh, that means this is the energy which lets the un the, the sunshine and not and not uh, um, um, these uh, postulated um, uh, how it's called oh um, I tell you later <laughs> mm -hmm. um, uh, fusion fusion yes uh, hot fusion what what, what uh, they postulate in physics. Yes. Uh, that this hot fusion never exists. This is a big right. mistake. Uh -huh. And um, the only fusion uh, that is possible is the cold fusion and not the hot fusion. And the sun is not producing hot fusion. That's a big mistake. Uh, mm -hmm. It is uh, the energy source of the sun are the neutrinos. And uh, a part of these, the third part of the neutrinos, which had been not uh, um, well, slowed down, uh, that means changed from strong neutrino flux to weak neutrino flux, uh, is uh, spread off of the sun. We call them the solar neutrinos. And the uh, Earth and the other planets, they are using these weak uh, neutrinos as their energy source. And let me t um, take the Earth. The, t the Earth is growing with these neutrinos as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Earth would shine as well, but there is the crust which uh, um, makes it impossible. Um, but if you drill inside, you know that, uh, or if you have a volcanoes, then you know that uh, it is very, uh, well, there's, there's light inside. It's shining, and um, and the third part is um, the energy from the Earth coming out of the Earth, very weak, and which is the source of energy for the plants mm -hmm. and for the biosphere. Well, Doctor, um, you know, I heard that, uh, okay, well, with your theory here, okay, it's producing 
or creating hydrogen, making hydrogen inside the planet, but it's also making other elements. So, yeah. for example, water, it, it's making water inside the earth and right. also hydrocarbons, you know, like mm -hmm. oil, for instance. Yep. It's making yep. oil inside the planet. Yeah, so we have we have produced here in Germany. We have produced um, uh, oil synthetically um, by using water, uh, really? with water, vortex, and CO2. And uh, if you break the CO2, uh, and uh, then the uh, the carbon is uh, producing by itself is producing oil. So oil. Um, is not fossil. Fossil, yeah, F fossil. Uh, that means it's, it's not come. Is uh, is not uh, produced by by wood or something like mm -hmm. this. Right. Um, this is another mistake. Uh, it is produced in yeah, it's the abiotic. core of the I earth. I believe it's abiotic. Hmm? I, I think the term is abiotic. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and uh, it's uh, produced in inside the earth, and um, so the earth still is producing oil and gas. Mm -hmm. And um, well, but um, uh, this is uh, these are other technologies um, we are still developing at the time, and uh, you will read about it. Uh, I think if we are successful. In a few years. Mm -hmm. um, well, uh, uh, you see, if uh, you want to calculate uh, these things, uh, especially the balance of the of the earth, um, of the climate, then uh, you need to add the energy of the neutrino flux. This is why all these discussions and all these calculations about the global warming are wrong because uh, global warming they uh, calculate uh, they do not calculate the neutrino uh, energy which is uh, captured by the earth and mm -hmm. if you uh, calculate the climate and the change of the climate with a model which neglects uh, about uh, 98 percent, because 98 uh, percent of the radiation from the sun is non-visible and is the neutrino flux. And if 50 percent of these are uh, interacting with the core of the earth, then if you neglect about 50 percent, <coughs> then uh, the whole calculation is, well, is good for nothing. You 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 uh, see what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, so the uh, the discussion of global warming and all this what they have uh, discussed uh, is is really good for nothing. They have mm -hmm. to start again because the neutrino flux tells you what happens with the Earth. Yes. And this is this is why I want I try to uh, to measure um, the neutrino flux from the sun because I'm sure if we know uh, the neutrino flux exactly then we know what happens with the climate and it, it may change from year to year and uh, and the neutrino flux interacts with the core of the earth that means you you really have a force which is pulling and pushing the uh, core of the earth and which means that that uh, uh, the result are earthquakes and this is why i gave a prediction about earthquakes in this uh, tv film uh, on this on the eclipse from uh, 2006 and uh, my prediction had been right and uh, this is why uh, it is very good to have an exact model uh, and uh, those uh, who have the best model model they have the best answers you see, mm -hmm. especially for prediction of earthquakes. Mm -hmm. well, and you're addressing a fundamental way, yeah. issue here. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're looking at the fundamental cause of what's going on. Well, we and, have, and we what, have to, what's going on with the, with the climate or with, with what? 
Um, well, the fundamental action of uh, you know this neutrino flux uh, 